What's going on guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. Today I'm going to talk about just why do I run? Why I run and why I do exercises. It's not just for the physical benefits. This is all a spiritual thing to me. It's a spiritual exploration of my own eternal omnipresent being. It's a nice, it's a nice cool overcast day. You can sense falls in the air. And this is, I'm going to talk about what I mean by that nothing comes to us guys. Everything is forever being spherically revealed through and around ourselves, relative to ourselves. And I find running a great example when it comes to practically applying this principle of life. So like when I'm going running, I'm within my own I'm having air conversations as I'm running. I'm going deep within my being. I'm becoming, I'm embodying an identity. I'm, I'm dwelling within my own beingness. I'm becoming more grounded when I'm running. I, I ran probably like, I don't know, 13 to 14 miles this morning. And it's just, uh, just what, that for that period of time is, uh, in that period is when you start to go within. You start to dwell in your own resting place. You recognize in the way that you already have everything you already need and desire. That everything that we experience that, that seems to be separate from us, out, independent of our own perception, it's really being spiritually revealed through and around ourselves, relative to ourselves. Every person, place, thing, experience, event, opportunity, they're all being spherically revealed through and around ourselves relative to ourselves as the oriented, attuned, gravitating, pulsating, omnipresent focus point. Your focus reveals reality. When you, fo when you think from the heart, that dimensionally larger viewpoint. When you're thinking from the heart, contain infinite possibilities, the kingdom of absolute heaven, so you are. We are simply recognizing infinitely many fragmented, non-local, Refracted, mirror and subconscious aspects of ourselves, moment by infinitesimal moment. We're simply recognizing. We're not trying to make anything happen. We're simply recognizing. And when you recognize that, when you make those assumptions, just like Neville Goddard's law of assumption, when you, you start making these assumptions, and then when you start living by these, when you start making these assumptions that they've become part of you, you start recognizing that you already are those things. You're not trying to, you're not lying to yourself, guys. Say, like, there are, if there's, in, think of it like this infinite versions of yourself right now. One who struggles and then one who has opportunities coming effortlessly. They're all, they're just states of con, your own consciousness, guys. They aren't you. They're only states that you contain, that you're focusing through those frames of, of uh, subconscious frames of mind. When you're selecting one of those infinitely many frames of mind, you're viewing through one of those infinitely many frames of mind, desired mind, of the mind. By viewing and focusing through one of those desired states, that state, that corresponding state is being spherically revealed or manifested through and around yourself, relative to yourself. Nothing comes to you guys. Everything is forever spherically revealed through and around yourself. Mathematically and proportionally. Your focus, your inner conversations, your self-talk, your conviction, your convicted self-talk, your convinced, persuaded self-talk, frequently lived by, reveals your objective reality. Nothing is outside of us, guys. Nothing is separate from ourselves. Everything is being forever spherically revealed through and around our completed selves. That we're only seeing... 0 0.00000 repeating 0001%. The infinitesimally small. We're just, that's all we're seeing. But the other 99.999 repeating percent already exists within ourselves, being spherically revealed through ourselves moment by infinitesimal moment. And I say that 99.999 repeating percent, guys, 
equals 100% resemble to imply that means that we live in a forever expanding and yet complete universe. We are forever expanding through and around the completed focus, focus point of ourselves, moment by infinitesimal moment. And this is this is what I mean exactly. Why I give the example of running, guys. I'm simply forever recognizing that I already am that person, and when I become more aware of my inner conversations, in relation and associate them to my objective experiences, that's when I can be able to, that's how I see psychic guys. That's how I see psychic or ESP or clairvoyance, whatever you want to call it. Um, just really in tune with yourself. You become more in tune with your own being. You become more in tune and it's, uh, you can be able to pick up on things more easily because everything, there is no past or future. Everything exists within this on the present moment and here now. You're simply selecting states of consciousness. You're not, there's no linear time. You're just simply selecting a state. And that's what, that experience is being spherically revealed through and around yourself, relative to yourself. You're not limited to an end of the world. You're not limited to a famine's coming up or some sort of illness or whatever's coming up. You're not limited. You're not um, stuck in those realities, guys, or timelines. You can simply choose to reject or accept certain ideas. And whatsoever, whatever you accept or reject, that's, that's how it appears to you. You have the ability to choose what to accept and what to reject. You're simply selecting what already exists. Like that one hermetic, um, hermetic quote, um, speech and mind are equivalent to that over immortality. And I talk about that speech or self-talk selects and then mind reveals. Speech selects and mind reveals. You're not, try, you're not trying to make anything happen, guys. You're not, nothing comes to you. You're just simply selecting what already exists. You're selecting one of infinitely many viewpoints of what already exists being spherically revealed through and around yourself relative to yourself moment by infinitesimal moment i could think of a person i could think of a person and then they show up they aren't coming from me from a physical separate distance they are being spherically revealed through and around myself relative to myself everything is being spherically manifested through and around ourselves guys everything is moment by infinitesimal moment your focus live by reveals your objective reality this is your kingdom, guys. This is heaven on earth. This, your own being is the absolute. You can't, ex you can't lack what you already are. You cannot lose what you already are. There's nothing to lose, guys. You have nothing to lose because you already have everything you need and desire. You already have every, everything's contained within you, guys. You, within the present sub-mass of your body, contains eternal pulsing on the present light. And the presence of mass curves the space-time continuum, the panoramic space-time continuum around and within the focus point of the pulse, uh, pul pulsing focus point of yourself, relative to yourself. Your focus reveals reality. Your self-talk reveals reality. Your self-narrative reveals your objective reality, guys. So guys, I hope this video helps a ton. And I bless you all. And happy manifesting. What will the iron body do? I am the iron body. Life is rigged in my favor. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? And say hello to Winston right here first. Winston. All right, guys. Bless y'all and happy manifesting. Nothing comes to you. Everything's forever revealed through you. You're complete and you're whole. And life is forever expanded through and around yourself. Relative to yourself. Bless y'all and happy manifesting.